Now when we look at continuous testing best practices, now some of the, the CD best practices that, that you'll see here is some of the things that you may or may not be familiar with. One is, of course, is like automated deployment. And of course, um, what everyone is probably most familiar with in this is having a central code repository, whether that's using um, your own proprietary code repository or using something like uh, one of the more popular repositories like uh, GitLab, or excuse me, GitHub as a repository. Um, and then having a replication of your production environment. So some people have stage environments, some people have a where they reproduce it, but they may not be able to reproduce it 100%. And that's one of the key advantages of using um, the cloud to be able to implement DevOps, because you can spin up actual environments that mimic the actual production environment and allow you to test against something that's actually real. Um, it also allows you to, some of the best practices, uh, push, code should be uh, pushed and built on a CI server. And then, of course, uh, automated unit and integration tests. Uh, years ago, unit tests were actually optional for developers, but now this is kind of a key option in terms, or a key uh, component of how software is tested, as we talked about shifting lab testing earlier in the software development life cycle. So it goes not only at the unit testing level, but the API and web services level as well. Mm -hmm.